Oh. Right. Now, 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 spell it. Right. Starting off the power dunk. Has Mo at the ledge. Ooh, but he's fighting his way out the ledge. Stepping off pretty good at fighting his way out the ledge. Just excuse us whilst we have technical difficulties trying to uh, remove the last set so as the play has started early. So, so right hander is actually doing pretty well, I think. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think, I think, uh, I think, I think in the zone. Uh, <laughs> I think, I think in the zone. Um, Oh, Imzon has him off stage Basically, though. Um, this would be the place to do it. Oh no. Terry, well, right now Terry struggles to like reach cover on like most, well, like on Lilac, but it's actually covered most stages, especially yeah. if Sephiroth can just come down there. Damn, but Sephiroth Light is how dying just immediately. Okay, so he's still on the same stage. I'm wondering if he's gonna, he's just gonna come to ledge. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna try so down there, there's, there's, there's a couple ways that this can be done for Sephiroth. I'm pretty sure Sephiroth counter will auto trigger and will beat out Terry up B. But like, from the looks of things, I don't think Sephiroth's gonna be killing Terry like rawly and neutral or on the stage for that matter. I think it'll be mainly edge guards. Thank you, Aiden. Oh, and win a semi fight. It's, it's none of this. It's, it's none of that, surely. I thought we were in a um. I thought we were in a round robin. No, we're not. We're not? No. Oh, wait, I threw that game for real? Yes. I thought we were in a round robin, that dude. <laughs> I didn't realize that. <laughs> uh, oopsie. Okay, so this is one of the semi finals. Alright, all these orbs. Ooh, that shield is looking small, but he gets out of it. So, yeah, it, like Sephiroth is gonna die around about 80% mark to Terry specials. I think Inzan should just try and mix it up with um, throwing Terry in the air while he uses um, the orbs, because mm. Terry's just gonna try and side beam. The orbs will hit you. Yeah. Um, try covering jump. But. I also think maybe Imzon is playing too close a range and too committal against Terry. Yeah, Especially with the second. Slightly gonna take it. We'll see the damage when he gets here, misses on. Oh. I wonder if you can special cancel fair onto up there. The power wave. You Mo can't, damn. Yeah, now, now Mo's just playing way more patient. Still gets hurt. You say that as he takes another turn. Well, he's still playing more patient with yeah. the ledge. I mean, it's definitely the way. Right he's just gonna take a sip back. He wants center stage. Like, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, he's not gonna die for ages if he has center stage. Saying that, Wing is here and Wing kills early. Right. I'm like a random just kill move thrown out. I, I'm expecting it all random kill moves thrown out. There's a down air, tries to nair cancel side B. See how Mo gets round ledge happen. Will this kill? That's the thing. Takes like, it off the top. The, the, the correct thing would have probably been to roll the fight game characters as well. Just turn around, yeah. yeah. So yeah, Reinhardt just spaced exactly at the point where he covered normal get up. I honestly, I think that there, um, having kind of a smaller stage with these two platforms, I don't think that benefits Sephiroth, because I feel like Terry has enough weird angles in to get past kind of the straight, massive lines probably that Sephiroth works in. Stages with less platforms would probably we'll, do we'll benefit much better Sephiroth, Sephiroth so much. just because... But we're going to Cloud, so this is now a mobility game. So it's game. kind of the same principle as uh, Cloud's up as he's quite long. Um, and it's disjointed versus Terry's um, like side beat. Like. Mm. I'm quite surprised I'm there, too. seeing... Um, well, first of all, I I'm surprised because um, back air didn't make a true confirm into side B, which I thought was a thing for clouds, but I guess Terry just said no. Yeah. And as you can see, Mo just head on his face, meaning he's kind of. It doesn't reacting. use the I limit, what the heck? But I, I, I think that's why he chooses to as well. Mo yeah. Mo's gonna have a better time not getting that yeah. back. He also has a wall jump with Cloud as well, so his recovery is boosted as well. Yeah, he does. <laughs> So it, it boosts his recovery a little bit as well. Yeah. Now, um... Right, let's see how he catches the landing. Yeah. You see these up there, he's right. Now, right on, he's in there without... Mo, yeah, most clouds, uh, Amazon's cloud, pretty good at, like, juggling this, especially. But he has this kind of weird... He has this weird movement game that will then suddenly become... It's a, it's a weird movement game. I want to see a bit more spacing. Good out that, that was much better spacing. Yeah. Um, he's been approaching with forward air and Ryan's right, been shielding and punching. Him, yeah. He's actually doing a bit more back air this time. Now, here's the thing. These, they're, they're both that really, really close kill percentage, but Terry has more kill moves. Neutral B is just shield pressure. It's nice. 
I, I'm so sorry. I'm expecting a back air. Oh, no, it just connects. Just catch them off guard. Because Mo has been doing that retreating, which yeah. gets out of range of Mo, Mo has a really weird thing, which is that um, even in advantage, and it's a very clear advantage, he will choose movement over actual advantage. Good sense and it sometimes control. works out for him, but other times he runs to the corner, and if he gets called out, then he just dies for it. Pretty good. Pretty good combos from from Raihan. Raihan, right yeah. Well, oh, okay. reads the air dodge in. Right, how's he gonna how's he gonna ledge trap this time? He's been doing well. Ah, uh, no, he gets committed. Mo's just thinking that Mo will try and fight his way out. Yeah, so so Mo's not really being too aggressive right now because Mo is still yeah. shielding. Oh, that's interesting. The down B not connecting at all for uh, Terry there. Yeah. There we have a connecting there. Well, I think we've seen about six, seven power dunks in a row. But they're working out for him so well. He's at 141 to 42. Another power dunk and it oh, takes okay. take it. Oh, wait, off the top on Kalos. A 1 0 -oh to. Oh no, 1 0 -oh to right hand at the moment. Right hand. Um, score 2. He's trying to make it 2 0. -oh. He's off stage at the moment though. Can Amazon get the sledge trapping? No, the invincibility yeah, it's actually much more difficult down to get the um, down air with Cloud on um, Terry's recovery. Yeah. You kind of mix up the timing. But I mean, what's the cool? Is the um, Cloud, Cloud down tilt, and there we have. Ooh, oh he, wow! Yeah, he has the. That's actually a really good recognition, though. Yeah, Go. he could even shield it there because uh, that would have popped the shield so hard. Right, so Mo's gonna back air. How's he gonna ledge trap? Yeah, he's just gonna go for the down again. Oh, right hand text, but doesn't realize and can't make it back up. Right, Mo's got the limit. I wonder how he's gonna try and rack up damage. Right hand's just. I, am, I imagine it's hard. gonna be. The, the odd thing. Oh, okay, he does a neutral B. I was gonna say I was expecting some kind of back. Oh, wow! Okay, okay. Well, actually, okay. It's a shield break, but it's a zero. I feel like Mo should have tried to charge limit at least. Oh, Maybe, wow. but I think he wants. I think Mo wants to pick up momentum right now. And the quicker that he can get that momentum and make the game faster paced, I feel like will help him. But he shouldn't be trying to make the game faster paced, I almost want to say. Right, right. But his spacing right now is really good. Right hand's kind of rushing low now. Pain. He's going for a lot of yeah. attacks. Um, he doesn't low, need taking to. He can be low committal just with jab. And he's in the corner. He needs to realize that he is actually. Yeah. So this is this is the momentum factor from Mo coming and back this in. This is where Mo really works. Yeah. He, he likes to just punish people for being. And now he's making him scared. Oh Same my gosh. gosh. Right. I think we're gonna see a bust of for a power gazer. Oh, yeah, smash out yeah. a shield. Was that a three stop comeback? I think so, I don't know. Yeah, damn, yeah. well played by Mo. Yeah, I think just, um... That's one of the things you need to definitely be careful with Imzon, is once he starts to pick up steam, it's definitely a, uh, oh shit, I need to shut this down kind Mo of Mo at the beginning kind of was, um... He was cold. Yeah, no, it was just, he was trying to play, um, a bit like, um, Raihan was being immediately aggressive. Yeah. But Raihan was just weighing it out. The second that Raihan was at, like, kill percent, that's when he started being aggressive. Mo just carries on back carrying and actually works out. Yeah. So you think that right hand changing his game plan is what won Mo that rather than Mo changing his? Yeah, I just think right hand got a bit too worried about trying to get the kill move the one say. Yeah. And so Mo I, it's a really odd thing for Terry because Terry has so many low committal options and has an auto turn around to benefit those auto those uh, low committal options. Yeah. Yeah. But... Honestly, you also have. How we going for? Piss Terry. No, you should have green. You're pissed, yo. No, it's green. Alright. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure. Yo, have you been eating beef? Oh, look. No. <laughs> it's tea. Yeah. Maybe we have a chat. Another thing I'm noticing the right hand side on with doing are these power, these power waves. I, I think, uh, well, against, uh, against clouds, um, Cloud can obviously like jump and move around them a lot. I think Mo's just kind of waiting for Rahan to not that many safe things on shields yeah. because um, he seems like Mo's just swinging second. But Rahan's doing a really good job with these parries right now, and honestly, once Rahan starts getting the parries, Again, how's he going to land? Is yeah. stage selection is all right. It's got platforms. It has so. two platforms, but they're low to the ground. Is the thing. Ooh, punish on the whiff right. side B. Right. He's been doing good with ledge traps, but Mo's gonna keep Mo's going to No. So I think they should have gone for jab as it would have covered the spot dodge as well, but 
He, he wanted to grab for some reason, I assume to unstay on moves or something along those lines. I know he likes to grab for that reason. Yeah, right. Yeah, but my Mo has to be so careful because he's now being ledge trapped by Terry. With Go, the Terry just jumps off the stage. Yeah, yeah, a bit predictable. I mean, you have to try it once. So Mo's, oh, footstool. Mo's getting really aggressive, and I don't think it's scaring right now, but just the threat of, like, when you're recovering. Knowing that you have to choose something instantly. Yeah. Right, these combos. That's a really combo. good combo there. Um, oh, it has to waste the limit on the recovery. Am I feeling yourself a bit too much being too aggressive to jump? Yeah, he got 54 on the Terry, in all fairness. I think... I don't know if Cloud has many ways other than edge guarding Terry to kind of really prevent Terry from living past 100 other than like a raw smash attack. Yeah, that's why I think he's just resorting to going to the back. Oh, there we go. Actually, yeah, that's why he's resorting to going kind of off stage. Well, yeah, once again, edge guarding is the way, definitely. Oh, uh, and getting that neutral damage. beat just over the top of it. I think Mo would just take any sort of damage right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's playing a damage game. He's at 100 versus Terry, you don't live much longer, but these are these are shields. If it doesn't work once, just do it again, I guess. But if he continues to whiff them like he did that first one, he might be in a bit of pain. I'm surprised the lack of down to a ledge, if I'm honest. Tet. Oh, nice turn. But. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Up B betrayed me. His up B, unfortunately, not connecting to the ledge there. So that's 2 1. That is 2 1 to Ims John. Im Jong. Im Jong. Right, right on gets stage choice again. Seems like that match it was just about edge guards instead of juggles. Honestly, honest. the juggles help. Like that one, we saw Mo got like a decent 50% off up airing him before he managed to get to the ground. Mm. But one, yeah, it was it was decided by those edge guards. Can you get back? Yeah, he still goes Terry. Still goes Terry. He said yellow Terry doesn't work. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Glitchy. Whenever whenever Mo starts to get momentum, it's very difficult to kind of slow him down. But, I feel um, like Raihan is very good at slowing down though, because Raihan right, doesn't right kind of let you run train because he wants to attack our yeah. situations. Right, see the punish. Expecting <coughs> <coughs> an up air, but... These these two these kind of like two move combos aren't working out very well for right hand right now. His jabs into power dunks not connecting as much as they should be. I think an up air into up B missed there as well. I think most game is just trying to bait him out. Yeah. He just kind of seems like he's spacing not just back air but just other moves. Ooh, that's gonna be really, really good well edge guard. Yeah. I felt like that was actually good to do it on this first stock, because if you mess up, you yeah. still got other stocks, but um, obviously it paid out well. Let's see how Raihan tries to attack on damage. Like, also, you have to remember, Terry is such a stock tank as well. He will He's really, really heavy. And the thing is, Mo's playing pretty well, because he's still like... No, he's dead! <laughs> he, he tries to outspace Raihan, yeah. like, to bait some out shield options. The right hand, 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 yeah, right hand has uh, burst options to also kind of counter those. Damage. And right hand combos are coming online right now, and here we're seeing that stop of momentum. And the beautiful parry. The beautiful parry into, you know, an obvious air dodge reads with that power game. You could say the exact same Damn. about right hand with momentum. The second right hand with momentum is definitely. Right, right hand's momentum almost comes from both of these people with momentum. Just yeah, the, the only like here's the thing, you have to break, you have to kind of break him's on mental in order to stop him from getting momentum because he can get it slowly. Right hand, there's always a moment where the momentum comes to him. That's and that first, like... in that game, that was the back air. The back air connected, momentum was on his side from that point. That's why I feel like Mo's Cloud would be better than his Kazuya, just because um, that's if you game. kind of play it slower while yeah. still pressuring. Like with Kazuya, to play slow, you just dash back and forth. Shield. Yeah. With Cloud, you can kind of space back air, kind of fill out your opponent, jump around that shield. And like, oh, are they going to jump out shield? Are they going to be aggressive? Yeah, what are their options? Yeah. And then the second that you know that they're aggressive, you up here. The second that you know they're going to be like 
defensive, you carry them for an attack. You can start side being to poke shield, etc. Holla bash you for this game 5. Um... <laughs> So yeah, right hand just out of the game being really aggressive. Um, yeah. Mo being defensive like he was in like game one and two. Here's the thing that I find with these power waves. They're forcing Mo to jump. But once you get him to do that initial jump, I think right hand needs to realize and shut off that he can't do multiple power waves. I feel like Cloud's too fast and the are too small for him to allow to do a lot of power waves. Yeah, and it's like one power wave and then Mo Imzon's gonna want to be jumping. But a dash attack and shield free to miss on the is he gets even back up. He, Terry being so heavy survives that, where many other characters would die. Okay, right, Mo trying a new tactic. Yeah. But up being, it's a lot safer. There's less chance of getting killed. He tries down her. Yeah, he has there's no really downside to that. Ooh, a whiffing neutral B getting punished with a dash attack, almost dying at the top. Right hand there. being a bit too aggressive. I know. I'm surprised right hand died there, honestly. I don't know if that was some odd DI, but it looked like he should have lived. See, as you see that, he just kind of jumped around. Him, yeah. Waited for right hand to do an attack. If that side beat had come out the wrong way, I think it would have been really, like some really good damage and really good momentum. The right hand, really good. Right hand, hand, yeah, great reply. Yeah. Oh, and he fights his way down. That's he the thing with right hand. Damage, yeah. yeah. Right hand's combos when he gets them are so so deadly. Mo's gotta realise that he kinda can't really jump around Terry Shield too much, because the second the right hand gets one thing make yeah. him hell. So that's why Mo's instead kinda of playing more grounded, he's not really jumping around, he's yeah. just waiting. But also right hand needs to realise Wow! <laughs> right hand needs to realise that his his burst options work on Mo when he's doing this kind of dashing around in neutral. But it doesn't work when Mo when Mo slows down and stands still. He's not going to suddenly kind of get hit by the power dunk. Yeah, you got right hand got to play maybe a bit more defensive. He, I think he's just got to play more. Oh, that was a shield break right. side, but M's on that go. It's going to be an edge trap. No, he's just, instead of, this is what I mean, instead of going for, oh, doesn't even allow the upbeat. Up smash, beautiful, okay. Th this Last is off, basically okay. even. 30% between the two, nothing that Terry can't make up. Mohan in center stage, right, right hand's playing a lot slower now. Ooh. And as you can see, he's working out in neutral. 53, he's taking right the lead. Right hand's going to get the damage. Ooh. Okay. I feel like sometimes right hand is doing a bit too much. Like there he got Mo, he up aired him, and then he did a back air for something. He should probably just retreat, yeah, which yeah. is what he just right. did. He kinda of hit Mo yeah. and then retreated. Now it's much more. Right, easy. this this is make or break for him on here. If he can keep the sledge trap up, but he can't, and now he's in the left. That's actually this really is good by really right using a safe option for yeah. Yeah. And it's gonna be the side beat. That's gonna be it. it. Damn. Game five okay. and right hand takes it three to two over. Right half right half played that a lot slower, which actually yeah. helped him a lot. So oh, yeah. yeah, that that uh was a cool. Right half wins. Nice. That that ledge trapping for Mo was the basically make or break. He either killed Terry there or and, and well he just didn't. I feel like what we Mo saw what should have done is um also played a bit more safe. Um, yeah. The only times that he was getting punished was kind of from... Um, I honestly, it's from him dashing around a bit and then right hand having these burst options that remove half the maze yeah. dashing. He should be kind of throwing yeah. out more attacks while retreating, whereas Mo yeah. was throwing them while... But then also, no, also no, what's it called? Um, what was it called? I had another thought in mind. Um, <sighs> I've forgotten it now completely. Oh yeah, he was throwing out unnecessarily unsafe moves like dash attack. Why are you dash attacking yeah. Terry Shields? I think it's because he thought Terry was more punishable than he actually is. He, he should know, honestly, you should know. That, that's your brother. You should know that you can't punish him. You've been playing with him for ages. You can't punish that And shit. the moral of the story is brotherly love. Yep. <laughs>